The circumference of a circle is the distance around the outside. To figure it out, you need to find the diameter. The diameter is the distance from one end of the circle to the other. You then, to find out the circumference, you multiply the diameter by pi, and in this case, we will use 3.14 as a close approximation. If we had a problem where we had to find the circumference of a circle that had a diameter of 2 meters, all we would do is do 2 times 3.14, and we would get the diameter is 6.28 meters. To find the area of a circle, we first need to find the radius. The radius is half the diameter. So if I had a diameter of 2 meters in a circle, the radius would be 1 meter. To find the area then, you multiply pi, so again 3.14, times the square of the radius. So in my example here, it would be 1 squared. Um, let's try a real example. For our example, let's try a circle that has a radius of 4 meters. So half of 4 is 2. So we're going to use 3.14, which is our pi, times 2, and then times 2 again to make it squared. And that gives us an area of 12.56 meters squared. To find the surface area of a sphere, that is the area on the outside of the sphere, we need to do a couple of different calculations. Um, again, when you're looking at a sphere, you can find the diameter by thinking, taking a slice kind of in the middle, um, and that will also give you, half of that will give you the radius. Um, so for example, if I have a sphere that has the diameter of 6 centimeters, the radius would be 3 centimeters. So to calculate the surface area, we multiply 4 times pi, which again is 3.14, or the best approximation is 3.14, times the square of that radius, so times 9 in this case because that's 3 times 3. Let's try an example with the calculator. To calculate the surface area, let's use an example of a sphere with a diameter of 8 centimeters. Half of the diameter is 4 centimeters, so that will be our radius. So we will multiply 4 for our formula, times 3.14 times 4 for our radius and then times 4 again for our radius squared and that gives us 200.96 centimeters squared for the surface area of a sphere with a diameter of 8 centimeters. The last calculation I'm going to show you is how to find out the volume of a sphere so the space inside of it. So the volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. That means r times r times r. So if we had a, um, a sphere that had was 4 meters in diameter, half of that diameter would be 2 meters, so the radius would be 2 meters, um, and we'd multiply 4 thirds times pi, so it's 3.14, times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8 in this case. Let's try a calculation with the calculator. For this example, to find the volume of a sphere, let's calculate um, the size of the volume of a sphere that has a diameter of 10 centimeters. Half of 10 centimeters is 5, so we will use 4 divided by 3 for 4 thirds times pi, which is 3 point, whoops, 3.14 and then we will multiply by 5 times 5 times 5. And that gives us 523.3333333333 centimeters cubed inside of our sphere. Clever people might have noticed that there's actually the pi button here, and if I press that, um, pi times 1, it gives me a much longer number um, for pi. Um, it will give you a more accurate number, but to be honest, since these are numbers in the thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millionths, ten millionths, and so on, it's not actually going to change that much 
um, your final answer. So we often use 3.14 as an approximation to make it quicker. But if you would rather use the pi symbol that's here, go for it. I hope that you've learned something and can do some problems now to find the area, circumference, surface area, and volume of spheres and circles. Um, please watch some of our other videos to learn some other math strategies. See you next time.